Okay. Let's check audio. Hello, hello. Good evening, people. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Are you good? Yes. Welcome, welcome. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. Good evening. Good evening, Maria Delmi. How are you? Bye. Everything is good? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. It's nice to have you. Just let me get your names, please, really quick uh, for the attendance. I will say the attendance like at um, nine and a half. At nine and a half. Okay. Yes. So thank you so much for being here. It's nice to see you one more time. And we're gonna we're gonna try to learn a little bit on today's class. Uh, just give me a minute while I get the information for you. Yes. In the meantime, don't forget that uh you have um some exercise that you gotta do like in the platform. Yes. Uh, we need to work. And uh, let's say continue working with the different exercise that you have. Over there, uh, okay, this one is, yes. So don't forget to, to, to work on those exercises and have them ready, have them ready like by, um, I think it's by Thursday. Yes, have the exercise ready by Thursday. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're gonna work with class number two today. People, welcome, it's nice to have you. One more time. Here we go. So we're gonna have section number one. It's a very excited oh, place. it's a very excited place. Model verbs with can and should. Those are the ones we're gonna work. This is pre-intermediate English module number three, and this is class number two. So welcome, good evening, and it's nice to see you one more time. Let's begin with the content that we have here for today. Yep. Okay. Here we have these pictures, right? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Six world famous landmarks. Okay. This is what we have for today. We have one, two, three, and four. Yes. So, um, tell me, please, Miguel, good evening. How are you? Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, can you tell me the cities that you see here on the screen? Uh, uh, I, I, I want to go to another, no. Perdón, eh, estaba en otra cosa. ¿Cuál, ¿A cuál me gustaría visitar? No, no, tell me, tell me the places that you see here. Like number one, what is the name and where is located? Number okay. two, what's the name? Where is it? Uh, the Grand Canyon, Arizona, U.S. The Louvre, Paris, France. The Pyramids, Giza, Egypt. The Coliseum, Rome, Italy. Sugar, Sugar Loaf, Mountain, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Taj Mahal, Agra, India. Thank you so much, right? So we have this different famous, right? These are the six world famous landmarks, right? Yes, the ones that we know. Question number one is for hello, you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. And you? Can't complain. Everything is awesome. Nice to have you. One more time. Okay. Um, Edgardo, question number one. Which places would you like to visit and why? I like this city from Italy, Coliseo. Oh, why? It's a beautiful place. 
Thank you so much. Okay, sounds pretty amazing. Yeah, if you have the chance, do it. Okay, don't think about it. Alejandra, Maria, Mejia, Avelar, thank you. The same question to you. Which places, okay, places, so that means you need to give me a plural thing, would you like to visit? Tell me why. Alejandra. Como ayer no, no asistí a, a las clases. No sé. Oh, don't worry. Estamos en la question number one. Mire. Sí, ve estos places. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes. Five. Exactly. Elija uno. Bueno, dos, right? Which places mm. would, me gustaría, like to visit? Why? Mm. Mm -hmm. Three. Number three, the pyramids. Gypsa, e Egypt. Why? Why would you like to visit this place? Four. And number four, the Coliseum, Rome, Italy. Okay, why? Yes, ¿entiende la, la expresión why? Mm, no tanto. Okay, why, esa palabra why es para dar razón del por okay. qué. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto, right, ¿le gustan las pupusas? Y usted me dice no. Vengo yo le digo why. ¿Por qué pues? Why? Okay. Yeah, entonces igual. Si le pregunto, oh, ¿tiene perros? No. Why? Yes, deme la, la reason, why. Entonces, uh, utilizamos this one, why, to give reasons. Yes, because this and this and this. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, why, why would you like to visit the pyramids? Porque... Eh... Sería más tranquilo estar. Oh, it, it looks it looks a, like a relaxing place, right? Mm -hmm. it, it looks like a relaxing. Okay, Alejandra. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great job. Maria, Delmi, Hernandez de Montoya. The same mm -hmm. question to you. Which places would you like to visit? Visit. Tell me why, please. Uh, the Louvre Museum in Paris. In Paris, why? Um, is to learn about is uh, the most story, the pre, the most uh, interesting is story in the in the world, isn't it? That is true, right? That is true, right? Thank you so much. Uh, now, let's see. Um, Blanca, Esmeralda, put the places you would like to visit in order from most interesting, number one, to the least interesting. So you can say, you just need to make a list, right? For example, oh, for me, the pyramids is the most interesting, right? Then the second one is this one in India, Tag Mahal. Yes, so... Please, Blanca, tell me your list, right, from the most interesting to the to least interesting. Uh, for me, the um, Roma, it, Italy, creo que es, o Italy. Rome in Italy. Italy uh, is very interesting. And what about the list? Uh, What's the, the list? Uh -huh. For the different place and the food yes that's right and what about the least interesting el que no es interesting right least interest el menos right least uh, interesting the uh, arizona usa oh yeah so no no green card right no oh, green no. card <laughs> thank you so much okay what about here in salvador mm-hmm what about here, Salvador, Jose? Which interesting places around your country or around the world have you already visited? So that means things that you visited. 
Ajá, José. Tell me, please, which interesting places around your country or the world have you already visited? Hello? José. Can you participate? If not, let me work with Cindy Carolina Cruz de López. Um, in my case, I have uh, visited uh, the mountain or the spirit of the mountain in La Unión. Oh. Beautiful view. And I have... Good evening. I have visited um, Cerro Verde. Oh, that's a good one. I love, I love that place. Yes, sir. Conchagua in La Unión. Oh, Conchagua is another one, right? Thank you so much for sharing, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Let's continue here. Oh, somebody send me a message. Okay. Uh, okay, Jose, no problem. That's okay, no problem. Thank you so much. We have one, two, three, and four questions. What city is it? What What's the Museum of Anthropology like? What are the Diego Rivera murals like? How many kinds of street food does Claudia recommend? So I need you to keep in mind these four questions. I will play the audio. So you listen, right? And then you answer the questions, yes? Yeah. Perfect, let's listen. Page 75, exercise seven, conversation. What should I do there? Part A. Listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay. It's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the historic center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Page 75, Exercise 7, Conversation. What should I do there? Part A. Listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay. It's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the historic center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Page 75. Exercise 7. Conversation. What should I do there? Part A. Listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay. It's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the historic center. That sounds perfect. 
And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Thank you. So what city is it? Mexico City. Very good. Number two. What's the Museum of Anthropology like? The National Museum of Anthropology. Okay, tell me an, an adjective. An adjective that describes the museum. Amazing. Oh, very good. Amazing, okay. right? So, it's amazing. Very good. What are the Diego Rivera murals like? Very incredible, I think. Incredible, exactly. Okay. Incredible. And what about the number four? How many kinds of street food does Claudia recommend? Tacos. Tacos. Okay, yes, but uh, so how many? Three. Oh, yes, wonderful. Three, right? Beautiful. Okay, thank you so much. Great job, people. Page 70. Let's continue. We're going to have this conversation. Okay, please help me out. Um, Maria Delmi Hernandez Montoya, please look yes. at the pictures and describe the pictures, yes. please. Thank you. Oh, this is the, uh, the National Museum of Anthropology. I I look at the, the river between two 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 buildings. Mm. I think it, it, it's it is like a river or like a pond. Uh I don't know. It's <laughs> a river or a pond. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. What about the other picture? Okay. What about the other picture? Oh, uh, this is the mural of um, Mr. Diego Rivera. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay, so we had what should I do there? Do you understand the question? This one that we have here? What mm -hmm. should I do there? I want you to listen to the conversation, okay? Listen yeah. to the conversation and read. Page 75, exercise seven, conversation. What should I do there? Part A, listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure, what would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the Historic Center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit... It's all delicious. Page 75. Exercise 7. Conversation. What should I do there? Part A. Listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the Historic Center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit... It's all delicious. So this is the conversation. Any question about vocabulary? 
or something that you do not understand? Everything is clear here in this conversation? Yes. Oh, perfect. I need you to take a screenshot, save it. Yes, toma la captura de pantalla y please, si alguien la puede enviar al grupo en WhatsApp, that would be good. Yes. So save it. I will open the breakout room so you can join with your partners and practice this conversation between Jason and Claudia. Um, let's see here. I will open the breakout rooms with um, trios, okay? In case somebody is missing the audio, yes. Ready? Ready. Okay, do you understand? If, if you do not understand, let me know. Si no entiende lo que vamos a hacer, please, let me know, okay? Let me know, so I can explain to you. Okay, perfect, good. So I will open the breakout rooms, so just give me a minute, yes. Uh, we're gonna have breaker rooms here. Okay, dokie. Okay, three. That's good. Mm, Jesus, I will have another one here. Oh my gosh. Well, let, let's go with that. Just let me check the time. Ah, beautiful. I have it. So in the main room, in the main room, I have Jorge Solorzano. Oh Jesus, <laughs> forget about it. In the main room, I have Catherine, Joanna, Catherine. Hello. Thank you. Please don't join the breakout rooms. Just stay here in the main room, okay? Okay. Sandra Lisette Elizondo. Hello. Again, you don't join the breakout rooms. Stay here in the main room. Yes? Okay. Perfect. The rest of you, please join your classmates and practice conversation. Do you understand? Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Alejandra in Kenya, please join. Thank you. Okay. Blanca, Maria Delmi, Edgardo, eh, Andrea, please join. Okay. Edgardo, Andrea. I needed to join, please. Join, Edgardo. You do it. Okay. I think, I think they have a problem with the uh, connection because, uh, uh, okay, I will, oh yes, there we have Andre. Okay, so I'm gonna mute my mic. Okay, uh, Catherine and also Sandra, so you can participate and practice the conversation here in this room. Okay, do you understand? Okay, I get Perfect. it. Wonderful. Teacher, I'm sorry. What happened? We are going to practice this conversation, okay? Here in this main room. Oh, okay. Um, tuve problemas con mi internet y me sacó de la clase. Oh, I'm sorry no about it, okay? No entiendo. No entiendo. Oh, Solo we're... es practicar. Yes. We are just going to practice, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, go ahead. Excuse me? Catherine, Sandra, please practice. Catherine, Jason. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. Well, you, what would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should defin definitely definitely visit the National Museum, Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You should miss the Diego Rivera murals. They incredible. Oh, and you can, you can walk around the history center. 
That sounds perfect. What about the food? What should I eat? You can miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit is all delicious. Okay. Switch. Switch roles, please. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? I do there. Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Re Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the History Center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruits. It's all delicious. Thank you. Now, you, Alba, with Catherine, please. Elba, sorry. Hello, Elba. Do you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, you and Catherine, please. Thank you. Catherine. Um, Claudia, no, no es Claudia. O sea, usted y yo. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Sorry, no sé si I am... Ah, oh, okay. I... Cualquiera, whatever. Okay, entonces voy a hacer Jason y usted Claudia y luego okay. cambiamos. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Uh, you, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You should miss the Diego Rivera mural. They're incredible. Uh, and you can walk around the History Center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can miss the street food, the tacos, barbecue, fruit, and all delicious. It's all delicious. Thank you. Now you with okay. Sandra, Elba, please. Okay. Okay. Jason, me? Me. Uh -huh. Yes. No, I'm sorry. That's that's you, Elba. You're Jason, okay? okay? Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. Well, who would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should def definitely visit the National Museum. Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. It's on my list now. Anything else? You show me the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the history center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can miss the Easter food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Thank you so much for your practice on this one. Okay, that was very good. Um, before we continue, I would like to tell the attendance. So when you hear your beautiful name, please say I'm here or present. Okay, so uh, Alejandra Elizabeth Duran Ramos. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Alejandra Maria Mejia Avelar. Alejandra Maria Mejia Avelar. 
Hello. Oh, welcome. Nice to have you. Thank you. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Hi, here I am. Welcome. Nice to have you. Ángel Isaac Cibrián Bonilla. Ángel Isaac Cibrián Bonilla. No, he isn't. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Esmeralda. Blanca Esmeralda Flores. Or... Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Didn't hear you. Welcome. Nice to have you. Blanca Estela Lara López. Blanca Estela Lara López. Okie dokie. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado. Maldonado. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Good evening. Elba Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano. Present teacher. Wonderful. Good evening. Nice to have you. Gabriela Noemí Orellana Tejada. Good evening, Mr. Mums. Nice, Hello. Nice to have you Friends. one more time. Welcome. Jose Antonio Montes Fuentes. I hear you, teacher. Welcome. Nice to have you. Catherine Joana you. Casadilla Alas. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much. Kenia Roxana Ayala de Velázquez. Present teacher. Perfect. Nice to have you. Thank you. Luis Miguel Mejía Alas. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening, gentlemen. Maria Delmi Hernández de Montoya. Hello, Maria Delmi Hernández de Montoya. Now she isn't. What about Sandra Lisset Elizondo Merino? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Cindy Carolina Cruz de Lopez. Here. Wonderful. Good evening. Nice to have you. And Ursula Yamilet Cornejo Martinez. Yes, I'm here. Wonderful. Wow. Nice to have you. So, um, let's continue working on this one. Okay. Uh, let me see. Where was it? Okay. Here we go. I want to play the audio more time and then I will hear a few participations from you. Okay. So let's listen first. Page 75. Exercise 7. Conversation. What should I do there? Part A. Listen and practice. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay. It's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They're incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the Historic Center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Okay, Kenya, Roxanne. Roxana Ayala. And your partner is going to be, let me see, Blanca. So Blanca and Kenya. Blanca, you are Jason. And, and Kenya, you are Claudia. And then you switch, you change roles. Okay. Ready? Let's begin. Hello, Blanca. Blanca. Hello. Blanca, ¿qué? ¿Qué oh, oh, vale, Blanca. Blanca? Oh, really? I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Okay. Okay, perfect. Eh, ¿Mi Claudia o Jackson? Oh, Jackson. You're Jackson and Kenya, you are um, Claudia. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What word do you like to know? Well, I am going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you sure definitely visit the National Museum. Anthropology is amazing. Okay. On my list now, anything else? 
You turn down Miss the Diego Rivera murals there, the secret wall, oh, and you can walk around the history center. That's <laughs> And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food, the tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Yes, change, change <laughs> roles. Yes, please, thank you. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Uh, sure, what, should, uh, what do you like to know? Well, I'm going to there to be there for a few days next month. What shall I do there? Oh, you should visit the National Music and the Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You should done Miss the Diego Rivera murals, creo que. They're the, incredible. Um, oh, I do have wall around the history. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? What short it eat? I eat. You can miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue fruit, it's uh, delicious. Thank you. Very good. Thank you so much. A few mistakes on pronunciation. Okay, but I love it. Yes. Keep working like that and keep practicing. Thank you so much. We're going to have um, Luis. Okay. Uh, and also, let me see. Jose, can you participate? Jose? Oh, no, Jose. Okay. Jose, can you participate? Yes. Mm, yes. Oh, perfect. So you and... and and your partner okay. Luis. Okay? okay. So Luis, you Jason. I am, I am Jason. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. Oh what would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What shall I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. And they are incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the history center. That sounds perfect. And what about the food? Where should I eat? You can you can meet the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruit, it's all delicious. Okay, now I am Claudia. Okay, um, can you tell me a little about Mexican City? Sure. What will, what will you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely, definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, it's on my list now. Anything else? You should miss the Diego Rivera murals. They they are incredible. Oh, and you can walk around the History Center. That's not perfect. And... What about the food? What should I eat? You can miss the street food. The tacos, barbecue, fruits, it's all delicious. Thank you so much. Okay. Everything was wonderful. Thank you so much. Very good, the two of you. Great Page job. 70. We're going to have the rest of the conversation. I need you to focus in these two questions. Where is Jason from? And what should you do there? So these two questions. Listen to the audio. So you can answer these two questions. Yes? You got it? Listen to the audio. So you can answer these questions here. Okay. We got it. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. Page 75. 
Exercise 7. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where is Jason from? What should you do there? Where are you from again, Jason? I'm from Montreal, Canada. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. What's it like? What can you do there? Well, there's a lot to do. Visitors should definitely plan to spend a day visiting museums. At Space for Life, you can learn a lot about nature and the world. Page 75, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Where is Jason from? What should you do there? Where are you from again, Jason? I'm from Montreal, Canada. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. What's it like? What can you do there? Well, there's a lot to do. Visitors should definitely plan to spend a day visiting museums. At Space for Life, you can learn a lot about nature and the world. Okay, so question number one. Where is Jason from? Montreal, Canada. 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 Exactly. Very good. Thank you. What about the number two? What should you do there? Visit, visit museums, I think. Museums? Yes. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. That is correct. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's take a look at... Page 74 one video so you can work with the content which is can and should let's listen and watch you have already listened to a conversation where can and should were introduced those are called modal verbs modal verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood we can also use them to ask for and give advice Stay with us as we will explain them. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay. We'll talk about the modal verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus modal verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus not plus verb plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to notice that models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on should and neither on the main verb go. So um, here we have like the grammar part. Like here we have the modal verbs, can and could. Yes. Uh, we use this one to talk about things that are possible. Yes, so we're gonna have questions, we can have affirmative statements, or we can have just negative sentences as well. We can have the three of them, right? Um, and we have like this one, what can I do in Mexico City? Okay, so you can say positive, I can, I can walk around in the historic center, or you can't miss the street food. What should I see there? You can say positive sentences. You should visit the National Museum of Anthropology or you shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. Yes, uh, this is the way we work with these ones. Yes, 
Any question about it? No, so far. Oh, that's no. wonderful. Okay, let's practice a little bit. Page 75. Exercise 8. Grammar focus. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can walk around the historic center. You can't miss the street food. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum of Anthropology. You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. Thank you so much. Let's have a little bit of practice. Okay. Uh, please do me a favor. Um, oh, let me see. Uh, Catherine, can you please read the instructions of this exercise that we have, please? Complete the conversations with can, can't, should, or shouldn't. Thank you so much. So we have number one, well, letter A and B, right? So this is like a conversation. I can decide where to go on vacation. What is the other one? Should I go to Costa Rica or Hawaii? Okie dokie. Let me check. Should. That's what you tell me, right? Yes? Uh, yes. Oh, that's correct. Very good. Yes. Should I go to Costa Rica or Hawaii? Yes, very good. What about let it be? You. Should. Should. Can maybe? You can definitely. Mm. Should. You should. Yeah, I think it's you should. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you have a like, you can use you should. You should. Okay. You should definitely visit Costa Rica. You can. You can? Mm, definitely. No, I think I go with sure. That sounds better. Thank you. Really? What can I see there? Well, San Jose is an exciting city. You? Shouldn't. Okay, you shouldn't miss. Very good. You shouldn't. Yes, wonderful. Oh, Jesus. Shouldn't. Okay, negative. Okay, so you shouldn't miss the museum. I'm sorry, the museum. The, um, Jesus. You shouldn't miss the Museo del Oro. That's the goal, museum. And you... Can. Very good. It, 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 exactly. And you can see beautiful animals made of gold. Okay, what else? Two. Two. Okay. Should. Very good. Two. Should I do that? Or can I do that? We can use both of them. What else should I do there? Or okay. Well, you. Can. Can. Negative. Uh, negative or, or, or positive? Positive. Positive. It's negative. 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 Because it's closer. Ah, negative. Yes, yeah, very good. You, you, yes, yeah, very good. Okay, I'm sorry. Can't. Can't. You can't visit the museum on Mondays. It's closed then. But you. One more time, shoot. Very good. You definitely visit the rainforest. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Very good for your participation on this one. You got it pretty much everything right. Thank you. Uh, let me have um two students. So um Ursula, please, Ursula, you are letter A. And Sandra Lisette Elizondo, you are letter B. Yes? Ursula? Okay. 
Okay. Perfect. Let's begin, please. I can't decide where to go on vacation. Should I go to Costa Rica or Hawaii? You should definitely visit Costa Rica. Really? What can I see there? Well, San Jose is an exciting city. You should miss the muse, Museum del Oro. That's the world museum, and you can see beautiful animals made of gold. Okay. What else should I do there? Well, you can visit the Museum of Mondays. It's closed down, but you should definitely visit the rainforest. It's amazing. Thank you so much. That was very good. Okay, a few mistakes on pronunciation, but very good. Aquí, right? You shouldn't miss the Museo del Oro. Yep, so that's a strong pass. Very good. Thank you. Let's see what else do we have here. A little bit more of practice. Okay, complete the sentence. Use the phrases. Okay, please read the phrases. Um, you... um. This this gentleman. Gosh. Oh, let me see. Because I don't see you. Oh, Luis, please read the phrases, Luis. Read the phrases. These phrases here. Please, these ones. Uh, Should miss. Uh, Should see. Can get. Can take. Should stay. Show shows work. Shouldn't. Shouldn't work. Shouldn't. Very good. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Very good. Gabriela Noemi, number two is for you. You should see the new. Sue is very interesting. What about the number two, Gabriela Noemi? Yeah, you should. Um... Stay. You shouldn't stay. Okay, positive or negative? is nice. Positive or negative, Gabriela? Mm. Positive. Positive. Okay. So read, read here, Gabriela. Read here. Near. Near the apple. It's it too. Nice. Noisy. Do you know what is the meaning of noisy? noisy. Exactly. Okay. So, Gabriela, is affirmative or negative? Affirmative. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It's negative. It's negative. Okay. Exactly. Oh, okay. exactly. No, because no. okay, because it's noisy. Oh, see. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, because it's noisy, you shouldn't stay. Yes, you shouldn't stay because it's too noisy. Okay. You shouldn't stay near the airport. Why? Because it's too noisy. Yeah. Maria Delmi Hernandez, number three, please. Thank you. Uh, you Can get, can get, you can get the museum. Mm, I think, um, I think I should have missed. That is correct, young lady. Very good. You shouldn't. Yes, you shouldn't miss. Wonderful. I love it. You shouldn't miss. Shouldn't miss. Yes, very good. Okay. Let's continue with you, Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Number four. Mm, you can get a bus tour? Or you can take? 
I think you can take a bus tour of the city if you like. Okay. You can take. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Edgardo, thank you, Edgardo. Number five. Hello. Number five, please. Oh, you shouldn't work. Very good. Shouldn't. Yes, that's wonderful. You shouldn't work. Yes. And the last one. The last one is for you. Yes. You, Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Number six. Okay. Uh, you can get a taxi if you're out late. Okay. You told me. Can get. Thank you. Blanca Esmeralda Flores. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. Blanca. Blanca Flores. Sí. Thank you. Please read the sentences. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. You should see the new zoo. It's very interesting. You shouldn't you shouldn't stay near the airport. It is too noisy. You shouldn't miss the museum. Muse is has some new ex, ex the, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Exhibits. New, ex, new exhibits. You can take a bus tour of the city if you like. You shouldn't walk alone at night. It is too dangerous. You can get a taxi if you're out late. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, let's continue. Just give me a minute. A minute. Okay. Look at this picture, please tell me. Um Elba Esmeralda Figueroa, please describe this picture. Thank you so much. What do you see here in this picture? Where are they? Mm -hmm. mm, where I I a uh, city so disordinate. I don't know how would you say disordinate. Um, a mess. A mess. Uh huh. It's a mess. You see, a mess. Mess. Messy okay. city. It's a messy city, right? Do you see? Do you see traffic in the picture? Uh, I see a lot of traffic. Um, so many people around of the traffic. Yes. Um, um, so dirty trash. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly. Do you do? What do you think about this one? Um. Do you do you like it or you don't like it? I don't like it because it's a mess. It's a messy city. I don't like this. It's a stressful for me. Oh yes, that's right. It is a stressful, right? Yeah, it doesn't look uh, okay. Very good. Oh. Yes, thank you so much for letting me know that. Okay. Uh, what else can you tell me about the picture, um, Kenya Roxana Ayala? What else you can tell me about the picture? Is a um, noise city. It's a noisy city, right? If you see, right, there's a lot of. And pollu and contaminada. This polluted, poll very good. Polluted. polluted. And. Most people. 
a, a lot of people, right? A lot of people. Thank you. Um, yes. Is this is this like San Salvador, Kenya? Yes. <laughs> sometimes, <Iwan>. right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it looks like San Salvador or sometimes San Miguel, right? It's yeah, it's quite Miguel. heavy. It was heavy sometimes the traffic and gets a lot of um, another thing. Okay, thank you so much, people, for being here. I really appreciate your participation. We will continue working tomorrow. Okay, so it's time so you can go and take a rest, go to work tomorrow, and be ready. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, good teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Have a good day. You do the same. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Perfect.